hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to do uh, how to send an SMS or a message using ASP.NET okay so we will be in this video we are going to do with ASP.NET okay so this is my video I mean ASP.NET application where I have created one um, file I mean app website for the sending SMS okay so this is a simple form I have created and designed this form with one text box and uh, one button this label and I'm going to send a message okay using MSG 91 so guys uh, without any wasting time let's get started so guys first step you have to go to message in 91.com okay so after that you have to get login okay so let's get first of all login okay so just click on login and you have to login with your SMS or whatever I mean sorry Google Chrome or you can register here and let's get back and you'll get your panel like this okay so after this um, let's go to again msg91 dot com okay so first step uh, you have to create your send SMS and you have to create your one sender ID okay so I have already created one with OTP that is okay sender ID I have created if you want to know how to create just type and give your mobile number and send SMS now with one message okay so if you just send it will create automatically create one OTP ID and then go to API okay so when you click on API you will create an API okay so these are the API's so okay if you don't know to create this API just uh, you'll get one option uh, create new okay so click on this create new and create your own API okay so these two things and now let's get back to the thing msg91.com and let's get down and uh, here the third option that is .NET so let's click on that and it will link to other page and it will tell you that send SMS in C hash but we are not going to use C hash code but I am going to use VB code okay so let's click on that and yeah okay so this is the code which we are getting it so let's try with this okay S to send an SMS so guys um, we are going to send how to send message in ASP.NET using VB code okay so using VB code we are sending so let's get back and what I'm going to tell is that just copy this okay till the if okay so this is one button right so private sub is one button so I'm going to copy this copy and let's get back to the form and double click on this button which you are doing okay and let's paste that paste okay so you will get some errors because of already defined it okay so guys and now I'm telling that uh, this is telling that sender is already declared as a parameter because it, the button is already declared one sender right so we are going to change this sender so let's change that sender to sender ID let's copy this and find let's find this and it will tell you over here one so let's click a sender ID and one over here okay so let's click and change it over here so only three things I have changed okay so this is one this second okay and this is the third so three places I have changed and there's something error in this and let's solve that that is telling method argument must be enclosed in parenthesis okay so let's close into inside the parenthesis and let's close this also okay so it's done so now there is one one more error that is something error correction option not declared so let's check out okay first step 
so I don't want to use this route so because this is setting the default one which gives the error first step okay so it will not send you the SMS so let's close this and let us close this also and I'm going to remove this okay so just remove it and ignore that right so let's save this control s and now and uh, this is showing some error because we don't use semicolon inside vb and let's save okay what is this error mm. so we will check out but let's copy the complete the code first thing okay so let's get back to the code and see the down which is the function so I'm going to call this function so let's copy this whole function copy and get back and paste below your button okay so in sub I'm going to paste that below button okay so let's save this and okay so guys uh, the error has been gone because of this function was missing this URL code function it is calling right so this is a function so it was calling that so let's um, check with this unwanted things so guys this the this data to send it's not there so let's find see here find reach starting point set okay so there is no use of that so we are going to comment that and uh, next is we don't need this also because we are not using anywhere so just comment that and leave it okay so next step uh, yes okay so now I'll tell you what is the main thing in this so these are the variables which is created okay so now this is message authentication key and mobile sender ID okay so guys first is authentication key where you are setting and setting to your parameter over here right so this is the auth key mobile message and your sender id so these are the variables which you are getting from here okay so let's set the api key so let's get back and go to your panel and i'm going to copy this copied and i'm going to oops paste it oops okay so let's paste it over here and this is my API key now and let's get back to the Chrome and uh, copy your ID okay so sender ID so my sender ID is this copy that and paste it where's the sender ID it is testing it is written we have to save our ID okay and uh, your mobile number okay so instead of typing over here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type my text box okay so give plus text box one dot text okay so this text box one dot text is over here okay so this is the text box one dot text I will show you the name so guys this is the name text box one dot text or you can rename as phone number so let's copy that copy and give enter and let's get back and let's paste it away okay so phone number dot text it is set so guys if you enter the number and send the message and the message you want over here okay so that is your message uh, like we'll give a message called testing of sending SMS okay with ASP.NET okay so instead of typing over here you have to type in a text box right so what I'm going to do is that let's create a text box that is oops let's pull it down over here and let's take one text box 
where is the text box okay here and let's paste that and let's drag it a little and name this as message where is that text box message okay just give enter let's copy this and paste it over here okay so inside this so let us take out this and paste it below no okay so we will copy the whole section control C and comment this line for safe purpose and let's paste this over here and type the plus and message message dot text okay T -E. it's not loading it's not loading because see here guys uh, text is not a member of string okay so this is oh god this is the biggest mistake which we have done now because this message is already used over here here and these things okay so what we have to do is that change the text box name first of all okay so let's go to properties and change this msg box okay message box i'll name it and let's get back oops let me see that okay give enter let's get back and paste it over here message box why oh, it's not loading a t e f e f okay so it's loaded now so finally it's set and now guys we will save this okay let's save it and run the output but what is this property access is not value hmm. the heck man we are giving that see this is also a message box this is also what the heck man so let's change this name once again i will name it as sending message okay msg yes okay no i uh, again it will come something send sms okay so let's keep the particular this name let's copy this and uh, paste it over here okay send sms and now no more errors okay so let's check and finally it's done okay so now what we are going to do execute it okay let's save this and execute okay so when you send the number and message it should go right so let's run the output and uh, it's loading so guys um it's now done and now let's see the output of it okay mobile is ready and now let's send the number triple eight zero two zero two six one seven and tell the message that is hello funda of web IT testing of sending SMS okay to this number okay so now let's send the not OTP okay we have to change this send message okay so now let's sending and it's uh, showing some error okay so it is telling that unable to handle this it's not accepting because I think this is being stored okay so let's check and the error and let's stop and debug once again and we will store this into one variable okay so um, we will store as okay so um, I'm not able to understand this so guys what I'm going to do is that I'll just remove this and I will show you how to send the message okay if possible if you know how to convert this into the text box and then that variable into string and then message over here okay so please tell me in the comment okay so I can implement this because I, I don't know this now 
so guys now i'll be sending this message using the uh, number itself okay so what i'm going to do is that i'll delete this box and just number and send the otp okay let's save this and tell the message is that testing of sending sms with sp.net okay and let's save this and execute so load 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 so it's loading so it's loaded and now let's send the message to play 0202617 and the message we will get is that let's send and let's see okay so we are getting some id response that is the message is sent and let's click okay and you have got the message okay so i'll show you the output that i'll show you okay just now we got see 11:34 and the timing is um this is actually wrong timing so this is the timing now 11:34 11:34 we have got the message so let's uh, click on this and see here with asp testing of sending sms with asp.net okay so i'll show you that the this is the code which we have given and this is the uh sender id okay so if you want to confirm you can confirm it over here see here with otp okay so that is the id that is a proof so which i have got this now and uh, yeah guys in this video that's it and we have learned how to send an sms uh using msg91 in asp.net using vb code so guys um thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share the video and uh, thank you once again